we fix some research bugs, snap workers to rooms, and see the pretty faces of our marketers in this devlog. Hey, my name is Garrett, who forgot his tripod, so he's using his backpack. And welcome to episode 40 of Attila's Prep. I'm making a game called Space Prevention Force, a tycoon and management game where you try to save as many lives as possible. Stick around to the end of the video to see everything done this week. Now, Commander, are we ready? Yes, sir. Let's have some fun. This week, I continued working on the research manager, although I didn't really do much big stuff with it. It was a lot of bug fixes, uh, just getting certain stuff to work when it should work and other stuff not to work when it shouldn't. Um, so basically, we're just kind of reorganizing and, and bug fixing that. Not a whole lot of new stuff done. Um, I was having uh, some troubles uh, converting the time in seconds to the game time. Um, I managed to do that successfully in the, uh, the time manager, but I'm trying to convert it to the research manager so it doesn't tell you how much time the research takes in seconds, but rather game time in, in days or months. And this should, this should be simpler than I'm making it out to be. I already did it in the time manager, but I'm still, I guess I just gotta think of it more. Um, but I started doing that. Also, um, there is sort of this bug, you wanna call it, where if the research UI wasn't active, then if the upgrade is completed, it wouldn't actually um, start the coroutine to actually initiate the upgrade, which is a pretty big problem. <laughs> um, and I was trying to figure out how to do that. One of the workarounds, at least I'm thinking of, is I literally, instead of disabling the UI, just like move it off screen so it's never actually disabled. Um, this, would, this would work, and this is how I previously <laughs> would try to come to, to these solutions, but I'm trying to get a little bit more, I guess, conscious of actual like good practices, and I'd like to try to figure out a way that's not sort of, I mean, I don't want to call it dumb if it works, but I mean, it's just not, I guess, a practical way. Um, so I'm gonna try to figure that out, and if all else fails, then I'll just end up <laughs> just moving the UI. That that works too. Hey, if it fits, it ships. Also, I fixed some snapping between the rooms. Before, it was like whenever I'd try to snap from one room, like a worker from one room to the other, it would kind of bug out a bit where it'd go like red in between, where it'd be like invalid in that, that little spot in between. Um, I didn't want that. It's not the biggest thing. And if, if you move fast enough, you don't really notice it. Um, but it's something I did notice and I wanted to fix. Uh, after a little bit of trial and error, I managed to fix it actually by making a list of whatever rooms are collided with and adding and removing from that, that actually ended up working. So I'm happy with that. It's just a lot more polished and I think it will look better. Obviously it will look better in the long run that it's more polished. I guess it's just more of a matter of will anyone care? I guess more so you care if it's not there than if it is, but that's I guess how it is. Infinite satisfaction. And also I started work on a new worker and a new room. Uh, it was the marketer and the marketing room. And I have no functionality yet. You can actually, you can still place the, the marketing room and the worker, uh, but it doesn't work yet. Um, I don't really want to focus too much on that functionality yet. I just kind of wanted more sprites and more marketing, ironically, more marketing material by creating the marketers. I kind of, I like the look of the room, um, but I'm not so sure about the marketer. He looks kind of, I guess a little too professional, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm still working with that, that's just basic. Um, who knows if I'm going to go later and redo all the sprites. But there's a new guy, and although he doesn't do anything yet, he looks kind of cool. Hey Garrett, how's the training been going? It's awesome. Um, I'm working with some more combos, just trying out different stuff with the moves I already have. I'm also trying to learn a few new moves, um, like the machine or transformer, and also uh, trying to start B-Twist, so I can actually have a twist in my tool bag. Um, but kind of hard, so we'll get it someday. No, no beat twist tonight. <laughs> Here's the development timeline of the game thus far. I've spent 185 minutes on art, 700 minutes on programming, and 35 minutes on animation. And here's a timeline of where the development of the game is going in the next few months. For the next steps, like I've said for like the past few weeks, continuing the research manager, just fixing more bugs, trying to get that bug fixed where the upgrade actually won't go through. Um, I'm also probably gonna add a few uh, upgrades more. Um, I don't necessarily wanna add like all the upgrades now and it's probably gonna be easier later just to add a 
be more, um, at least how I make the system, it should be easy to add upgrades. Um, however, I just want the time being just a, a little bit more diversity with it um, so you can sort of mess with different gameplay mechanics, not just through the base way of doing it, but through the research upgrades themselves. And I also think I want to start implementing the mechanics of variable factors. And this is something I'll probably have to explain more later. But essentially, every worker is going to have a productivity uh, variable where if they're more productive, then they'll produce better work. And also there'll be a market share variable, which will depend on um, how you compare to your competitors. And that will affect how many, um, I guess, how much uh, audience you have. Um, I'll explain that much more later, and also I'm still kind of working on explaining it to myself. Uh, so that will at least probably get started sometime in the next few weeks. Also, as promised, uh, here's here's a picture of me from Halloween this year. Um, yes, that is Peppa Pig, and uh, dual wielded. I know you were excited for this, so here you go. Roast me. So this is episode 40, a big milestone. And for that, I want to get you guys' opinions on the way the devlogs are going. I've been making improvements ever since I started, but I want to get your input on what you think I should improve. So on screen, I'm going to have a few different suggestions of things I could improve or add or remove, uh, like making it more vloggy, making the videos longer or shorter, um, adding more funny skits, uh, making them more or less scripted, stuff like that. Any and all suggestions are appreciated, not just the ones listed here. Um, I want to know your input so I can start to improve them more and produce better content. Um, I have a few ideas in the works that I kind of want to switch up. Um, I'm thinking of trying to implement more skit style things and try to bring out more of my humor because um, I feel like that's kind of what sets me a part of it. Uh, so just let me know your ideas. Um, I'm open to anything. Um, open to, to singing as well. I'm probably going to bring that back. Um, let me know if I should. Uh, but anything I'd like to hear, uh, much appreciated. Thank each and every one of you for watching. I really do appreciate all of you. And sticking with the theme of the game, I want to make sure you guys are okay. So if anyone needs any help, even if it's outside of game development, it's just life itself, um, please come talk to me. I want to see that you guys are all okay. And if you're dealing with anything, I'm not an expert on um, psychology or anything, but I am a person that you can come talk to. I'm, I'm very open to talking to you about anything. So if you need any help or anything, I will have links to my Discord friend request and also my Instagram DMs. If you want to contact me through there, I'm happy to talk. I love all of you and I will see you in the next devlog. Bye everyone. Bye.